Pilot to build features that connect Smart Suite to your other apps. I'm going to show you a feature that I added to my Gmail that lets me add messages that I receive as comments to records in my CRM in Smart Suite. I have an application where I store data on all of my contacts based on the Smart Suite sales CRM template. And with Ply, I added a feature to my Gmail messages that lets me add messages as comments. Here's how it works. When I click on this blue button on a specific message, I see an interface that lets me search for the sender among the contacts in the CRM template. When I find them and click add comment, the message they sent me gets added to the record as a comment. So here is that email message containing the email of the sender, the subject, and the message body. To add this feature to your Gmail, have open any email, then click on Ply's Chrome extension, and then create new module. Then choose the context for your module. This is the part of Gmail that you're adding a feature to, and it determines where you'll see the button that triggers your feature, along with what data from Gmail your feature will be able to use. We want to add a feature to the messages context, so the button will appear on every message, and we'll get data on every specific message within a thread. Next, connect your Gmail account to give Ply access to your data, and then choose an email to use as sample data while we set up what our feature does. The default choice is to use the email from the page you're currently in, so that's what we'll do. And now we design what the button that triggers our feature looks like. You can choose from any of these icons. And I think I chose an icon that I found by searching for edit, and I made it blue. Under advanced, you can give your button a tooltip that'll appear when you hover over it. But for now, I'll just click save and open flow editor. Here, I set up my features workflow, which is a series of steps that happen one after another whenever I click on my button. And steps in Ply come in three types. There are interface steps that show you an interface that appears right in the app that you've added a feature to integration steps that perform actions in the apps that Ply integrates with, and helper steps that manipulate data or the flow in some way. The first step in our workflow is an interface step, specifically a modal interface. And this type of interface is completely customizable with blocks, each one designed for a different kind of user interaction. The only block that we have in this interface is a search block, which lets us search through live data and other apps. Here's how you set this up. Under data, search for the app that you want to connect the search block to, in this case, Smart Suite and then choose the type of item that you want to search for. In this case, we're searching for records since we want to find a particular record in our CRM. Next, connect your account, and then choose which specific application you want to search in. So in the solution, I'm searching for my CRM template, and for the application, I'm choosing contacts. Um, we can put some finishing touches on this interface. For example, under basics, we can give this search block a more descriptive title, like choose contact. And I'm going to get rid of this large title up at the top by clicking on it and clicking on the trash can in the top right corner. Finally, I'm going to change the text on the done button by clicking on it. And in button text, writing add comment. Now, every step that you add to a workflow has to be tested, which means being run once to output sample data. To do that, click on this blue button at the bottom, run to create sample data, and search for a contact from your sales CRM that you want to add a comment to. So I'm choosing golf. When I click Add Comment, I get Sample Output. In this case, the ID of Gull's record in that CRM. The only other step we're going to add to the workflow is one that adds the email as a comment to the record that I selected here. So to do that, I'm going to add an integration step within Smart Suite. So I'm scrolling down to find Smart Suite. You can also use the search bar at the top to search for Smart Suite. And the action that we want to add is called Add a Comment. I'm connecting my Smart Suite account. And now I'm choosing where I want the comment to be added and what I want it to say. So uh, for the solution ID, I'm again choosing my CRM. And for the application ID, I'm again choosing my contacts application. Now the record ID is going to be determined by my selection in the search block in the previous step. So to set that up, I'm clicking into this field and clicking on Map Data. This pulls up Ply's Data Mapper, which lets me map data from previous steps into the current step. So in here, I see uh, the contextual data or the data on the message where I clicked on the button, along with the interface step, which contains my selection in the search block. So record ID is going to come from my selection of the search blocks. I'm clicking into step number three, show modal interface, and inserting my selection in the block that I call choose contact. Now, here's what I'm going to write for the comment content. First, I'm going to add some fixed text, uh, the word from. And now I want to insert the email address of the sender, or the person who sent me the message where I clicked on the button. 
To do that, I can type slash to pull up the data mapper or click on this plus over here on the right side. And I'm going to click into the contextual data. And here I'm searching for from and inserting the address, the email address of the sender. Next, I want the comment to include the message subject. So to do that, I'm going to add again some fixed text that says subject. And this time, I'm going to type slash to pull up the data mapper, click into the contextual data, and search for subject. And finally, I'm going to add another piece of fixed text that says body. And this time, I'm going to use my keyboard to navigate in the data mapper, go into the contextual data. And I'm looking for something called last reply, which is going to be the body of the message where I clicked on the button. I'm inserting that here, non-bold. And finally, I can add, um, if I want, an emoji at the top that'll signal that this comment is an email. So uh, we have the emoji menu over here on the top right corner of the data mapper. And here I'm going to search for email and insert, let's say, this emoji. Now, testing this step is going to add this content as a comment on the record that I chose. And when I click Publish, this feature is going to be added to all of my Gmail messages with the functionality that I just set up.